With the expansion of air traffic and the emergence of low-cost airlines, the A320 family became so successful that Airbus had to rethink the production process. The final assembly line at Hamburg was the first to be reorganized. The results were immediate. More coherent and efficient working methods meant that delivery rates were far higher. When Airbus decided to set up in China to ensure the many deliveries Middle Eastern and Asian airlines were waiting for, more and more companies were turning to the A320 family, it was of course the new concept of the Hamburg final assembly line that was used again. The final assembly line in Shenzhen is also a great opportunity for Airbus to export its industrial know-how and sense of cooperation to the other side of the world. This presence was crystallized in May 2009 when the first A320 made in China took off, followed by the first delivery a month later. 100 in 1990, 500 in 1995, over 1,000 in 1999, 4,000 today. And tomorrow, the A320 family story goes on with even more innovations. Airbus continues to believe and invest in the program, nearly 100 million euros a year, so that the A320 family can carry on giving a level of comfort, safety and performance that is still unmatched. A brand new passenger cabin, new navigation systems, steep approaches allowing airports with environmental constraints to be served. At the Dubai Air Show at the close of 2009, John Lee, Airbus sales director, illustrated these forward-looking features with the forthcoming arrival of new winglets called sharklets, designed to reduce fuel consumption by 3.5% with Air New Zealand as the first customer. Early 2010, Tom Enders, Airbus CEO, announced possible new engines for the A320 family. All these innovations are environmentally friendly and allow airlines as ever to keep on reducing operating costs. If the A320 family is such an unquestionable success and allows Airbus to continue to land a considerable number of orders, it's mainly down to the enthusiasm of the airlines and the passengers themselves. Passengers have commented to us on that and complimented that they would rather fly on the A320 than, in, than in some other narrow body aircraft because of the extra comfort they get out of flying the A320. We switched to Airbus A320 family. Uh, one, what, the, one of the reasons is a nice and uh, wide and comfortable cabin. Uh, the other one is a high cargo volume, higher cargo volume compared to the other aircraft. The benefit of uh, having a uh, uh, larger number of aircraft between 1920 and 1921 is the commonality between the pilots and uh, mainly for spare parts. I like the concept, all avionic concept. It's very much different from a traditional aircraft, uh, but you get used to it very, very quickly and it changes your way to fly.